Our research is based on a socio-legal analysis of the rights to aftercare for separated children. So it's based on primary qualitative research on foster care for separated children from the perspectives of young people, stakeholders and foster carers. Um, so separated children are children or young people who are under the age of 18, they're outside of their country of origin, and they're separated from their legal or customary caregivers. So they're generally seen to be a very vulnerable group. Um, and in terms of government policy, when they turn 18, they move from foster care to the direct provision system. So this is seen as increasing, I guess, their vulnerability. So the direct provision system, as a lot of people will know, is a system that provides minimum support for asylum seekers. Um, and research has shown again and again that it has a very negative impact on them. So in, in the current context, separated children, when they're under 18, they have a very good system of care in place. But when they turn 18, that's not, that's not the case. It is much le less positive. So um, it seems that in many respects that the the state, while it has, it can decide to um, allow separated children to remain in foster care when they turn 18, they rarely use their discretion and they rarely do this. So it seems that the state is actually privileging the migrant status of separated children over and above their status as care leavers who have rights and needs um, that need to be addressed. We believe that research is important because it will add to the political, the legal and social work perspectives on the rights of aged out separated children within Ireland once they leave the care system and enter into the direct provision system. Our research shows the exceptional vulnerability that aged out separated children um, have after leaving foster carers and entering into direct provision. And we would hope that our research also provides a path or a conduit in which government policymakers and um, civil society organisations may potentially utilise in one, having an evidence base for the vulnerability of aged out separated children entering into direct provision, and secondly, um, will provide a pathway in which we can recognise aged out separated children as having legal rights and legal entitlements and not privilege the migrant status of that, ca that very vulnerable category of individuals. So overall, our research um, wants to document the experiences of separated children seeking asylum um, and also the significant fears that many who are under 18 have in entering into the direct provision system and also will hopefully lead to a more rights-based approach to catering for aged out separating children and not placing them in the direct provision system.